from wait for it septic tank uk and you can see loads more live broadcasts like this one if you go to septic tank tv yeah I, do you know what i almost forgot the name of my own tv channel there septic tank tv if you want to watch more tv go to septic tank tv and you can see more of me there you go how about that got there in the end anyway in this live broadcast today i thought i'd just talk for a few minutes about septic tank versus sewage treatment plants all right so i suppose we could put septic tanks versus sewage treatment plants so what's the difference between a septic tank and a sewage treatment plant what's best septic tank or a sewage treatment plant so i thought i'd just give a basic overall picture of um, the difference between the two and which is the best how about that so let me get my rubber here here we go all right it's all right God, it's hot outside today, I tell you. It's like 85 degrees, so I thought, look, I'm not going to go out there. If you've been mad dogs and Englishmen or what? So I thought I'd come in here today and, oh, it's cool there in here, I tell you, but not that cool. Anyway, so let me show you the difference between a septic tank and a sewage treatment plant. So let's start with a septic tank. So let me draw a septic tank. So we'll call that look septic tank. All right, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? So there's we've got an inlet pipe going into it, and we've got, in fact, let me just do that a bit further down, and we've got a septic tank going out of it. All right, okay, so let me give it some grass, not the stuff you smoke. Let me give it some green grass. Look at that. All right, some green grass, okay. And uh, I don't know if grass is any color, different color, is it? Well, it, actually, the bra grass outside is brown today because it's been so hot. But anyway, so here's a septic tank. And that's water. And I'll put that there. You'll see where I'm going with this in a minute. And I know, don't tell me you're amazed at my uh, drawing skills. I know. All right, so there's a septic tank. There's the soak away. That's the soak away. There you go. That's not too bad, is it? Okay, so so let me just quickly explain how a septic tank works. Okay, so you've got raw sewage in the form of wastewater goes into the septic tank. Okay, and then it fills the septic tank up. All right, then when it gets to this level here. All right, let's just put, make it a bit high. The wastewater then goes into the soak away here and then drains away into the soil. So that's how a septic tank works. The soak away is probably the most important component of the septic tank because if the water didn't soak away, right, the tank would just get full and then it would overflow and it would stink and back up to the house. So... So that's how a septic tank and soak away work. I'll tell you a little bit more about this thing here in a minute. So the basic difference is with a septic tank, you've got raw, raw sewage goes in and you've got raw sewage out. So that's basically it, right? Raw sewage goes in, and raw sewage goes out, and the soil. In fact, let me put that there and change colours. Hold on. Uh, so the soil treats and cleans the sewage. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Okay. So that is number one. If I put number one there, all right. So I put number one. Septic tank. Okay, that's cool, isn't it? Okay, so I got the right pens there. All right, so number two now. Okay, so number two. So now I'm going to show you how much space have I got there. Keep looking back because I've got a, a monitor there. It tells me when, you know, if I go out of the kind of area. So here, now I'm going to do a sewage. Treatment plant. All right, so again, we've got pretty much the same scenario here. We got a pipe coming in. 
but I'm going to give the sewage treatment plant a different colour because they, they're normally green for some reason. Don't ask me why they're all green, but they are. And it looks something like, uh, let's give you a typical shape of a sewage treatment plant. I know that looks like something out of Close Encounters of the Third Kind, but it's not meant to be, right? That's what some of them look like, okay? So you've got your pipe in, you've got your pipe out, and then let me cut. Now here's the grass. You've got a green lid because it blends in with the grass. So how much have I got there for, for water there? Yeah, I've just got enough. That's water in there. And is that on the screen? Yes, okay, so that's on the screen. So, okay, so. So we'll call that outlet pipe. There you go, okay. So what happens with a sewage treatment plant is raw sewage goes in, raw sewage goes in. So you get raw sewage coming into here, right? So here's the raw sewage. Oh, almost had it coming into the wrong place. Hold on, two secs. Oh. So raw sewage goes in, it goes into here, and inside these treatment plants, you've got like what they call like a beehive. And they look something like that. And you've got a motor. So they've got a motor, and they'll have um, a compressor. And basically what happens, they're like a big aquarium, really. So all the raw sewage goes in, right? And the aquarium, <laughs> the aquarium, the sewage treatment plant's like an aquarium. So loads of water, it basically creates loads of bubbles and loads of noise and loads of fusion and loads of movement. And all that kind of, all those bubbles and stuff, right? give the bacteria and the microbes in there loads of energy, right? And those bacteria and the microbes, they eat all the bad stuff in the sewage. So they eat the sewage. So raw sewage goes in, but clean water comes out. And so here's the outlet pipe. So the clean water can come out of there and go into a water course, like a river, a stream, a brook, a ditch, whatever you've got there. So essentially, essentially, right, if I just do a dividing line, right, that's the difference between a septic tank and a sewage treatment plant. All right, so that's how they work. That's cool, isn't it, right? That's really cool how they work, right? So now I've shown you how they work. What's the best, a septic tank or a sewage treatment plant? Well, <laughs> it depends the situation you find yourself in. Okay, so let me give you two classic examples. Right? On the 1st of January 2020, all the rules and regulations in this country regarding septic tanks are changing. So if your septic tank, and many of them do, discharges into a watercourse or is close to a watercourse, this will become illegal on the 1st of January 2020, okay? So many people will have to replace their sep septic tank in favour of a sewage treatment plant because remember, raw sewage goes into a septic tank and raw sewage comes out, all right? And you have to wait for the soil to treat and clean that sewage. So it has to go through the land and through the fields and eventually it makes its way into streams and rivers, but it's been treated and cleaned. So the, the ground, the land, treats all the horrible stuff in sewage, right? So it's a long drawn out process as it filters through the soil, right? With a sewage treatment plant, as I said, you've got compressors and motors and pulleys and belts and shafts and cogs and motors and electricity and pipes and wires. Yes, it uses electricity and yes, they are expensive to run every year, but 
they turn that raw sewage into clean water and that clean water can then discharge directly into a water course. So if you live near a water course, then obviously you go for a sewage treatment plant because